Alright, hey guys, it's me, Meaner, and here we are back to Pet Pet Adventures, The Wand of Wishing. This time, we're actually going to be heading down this location now, which is the last one we need to go to before we could actually pretty much just, like, get the last one. I guess that means it's not the last one, but the last one isn't really all too great or really all too threatening. Pretty much it says, alright, I need to get all the other three, and then I'll give you the orb. But, anyway, you see traps there. Break these down. Anything in here? Nope. How about in here? Oh, nope. No, uh, no threatening anything at all. Alright, well, I was kind of hoping to actually fight something, but I guess not. What can you do? Reaper. Small health potion. How many of those do I have so far? Gonna ignite that. Stand over here. Break down this wall. Ooh, what's inside here? A stone sword. Oh, that's cool if you have the earth ability. But since I don't, I'm just going to stick with this sword here. I don't know why I'm trying to attack this way. I guess that also works. I guess I could also attack you that way too. Why not? Anyway, if you go inside this one, there's pretty much just some NP and then this guy here that shoots magic at you. But since we're light linemen, it doesn't really do all too much to us at all. Well, it still does something. It still does like maybe 10 or 12 damage, but by that point, we still have a lot of HP more than that. I'm still not seeing the Zitch anywhere, so if there is one, I ain't seen it. Hmm. I'm going to probably save right here because this part's kind of annoying if you don't get it right, so meet you back in a sec. All right, so go across this path. And you'll see this guy. But first, let's see, is there any zitch over here? Nope, no zitch. Oh, what? Another dinner guest for dinner? Disaster! Listen, I'm having an utter nightmare in my kitchen right now. Ha, ah, kitchen nightmares, huh? What's wrong? Disaster! These nasty spikes have infested my ovens! How will I cook with these pests here? Listen, I don't care about anything else anymore. Nothing is important to me but my beautiful kitchen. Nothing. Yes, anything you want. I'll even give up old King Tuga's pearl. I certainly have no use for it now. Look, the spikes are hiding, but I can make them come out. Will you help? Are you ready to face them right now? Sure. Alright, I'll reveal these nasty critters. Talk to me again when you're done so I can start preparing dinner. These guys here actually do a lot of, are actually quite brutal if you actually get them all at once. One time I had the mistake of actually trying to fight the other two at the same time. And I just got severely annihilated. So yeah, just fight him one-on-one. -on -one. That's pretty much all you need to do. And that's that. Now let's talk back to this guy again. Bravo, I was worried about my masterpiece. My most memorable dinner will never have get cooked. Now then, here's the purple pearl. I'm not proud I stole it, but perhaps you can return it for me. Now that the pests are gone and the pearl out of my hands, I can finally cook without a care. Thank you. Alright, so I'll leave just one more. So let's head back to the center, and then I'll show off the last area that we missed. Alright, so back at the center again. Still can't find any zitch. I've been trying to look around, but either way, now we're going over here. Cheese and tomato sub, pick that up. Barbats, kill them. Just a little further. Oh, didn't expect to see you come out of there, actually. So, uh, yeah, now you're gonna die. Break these down. So, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, well. Anything over here? Anything over there? Another barbat. Up. Uh. And, uh, oh, you trapped me. Okay. Either way, I've got some MP and a mana potion. That's cool. Let's then turn here. Hmm. Up. Oh, nope. Nothing's happening. Maybe over on this side. 
Oh, what's that? A cloud club. Hmm. That's cool if you have oh, not as even powerful as the as the actual sword I have. Either way. No need to bless, but whatever. Before I talk to you, I'm gonna see if there's anything in your room that I can destroy. Anything? Nope. Not at all. Hmm. Well now, there's a surprise, a live fish. Haven't seen one of your types around for oh ages. Yeah, sure, you'd like to feel the land under your feet and the sun in your face, but there's only one way out. Old King Tuga knows, but he's lost his mind since we stole erm um, since he lost his four royal pearls. Fine, I admit I have one, but I'm not going to give it to you unless you get the other three first. Hehehe, <laughs> good luck getting that to happen since the other three courtiers have them. Wh what? How's that possible? I don't think they would ever give up the biggest catch of our lives. Pumph, here it is, so take it. Now that you have all the pearls, why don't you try beating the old king? Baiting the old king. See what these old pearls will catch for you. Hehehe, <laughs> good luck getting in that one. Alright, well. Now that we have all four pearls, we can finally head back to the center, and then we can actually enter on the final path of where we have to go. So yeah, I'll just walk there since uh, it's not really all too far of a walk, really. Not really too big of a deal. Still have that little beast book on me. I, I, seriously, is there even a... I, I, yeah, I really don't think there's a zitch in here at all. I don't know why they give you blood pudding if there's no zitch in here, or not even a zitch in the entire game, but whatever. Anyway. Let's place the pink pearl there. Place the green pearl there. Place the purple pearl there. And the blue pearl there. away countless moons you have lured me out of restless slumber by returning my beloved treasured pearls ha 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 thief I have caught you now silence you steal my royal pearls then you return them then steal them again return them again and again Burr, you will toy with me no more you caught this time red-handed and you will pay for touching these royal gems with your life all right you don't want to get near him at all because if you do, he could just launch you away. And eventually, he starts shooting out water like that and launches you further away from you. So yeah, just uh, stay away, Bo. This is pretty much the way of defeating most bosses in this game. Just This is probably the easiest boss in the game in my personal opinion. I mean, he his attacks are so slow, and he himself is so slow, so you essentially just run away and shoot arrows at him. That is that, that, that is pretty much the strategy to actually defeating T King Tuga. Yeah, and his, his attack range isn't even that far either. His only real magic that you can actually worry about are those three little um, waters he throws at you. But that's basically it. See, look, he's not even doing all too much. King Tuga, very, very simple. Ugh. You are not the thief that's tormented me all these years. Rawr, I'll never catch him. I have no crawl with you then. There's an elevator at the back of this room. I must check my pearls to make sure they are undamaged. Be gone then. And thus finally, we can finally move forward. But before we do that, I'm gonna go check around for a zitch one last time. Whatever, can't find one. Place looks, uh, place looks completely fine, yeah. I I'm sure there's no threat going on whatsoever. That's, uh, that was one way of dealing with him.
You'll see a new type of minion as well, so those are kind of somewhat more annoying, more broody, no, more brutish, but either way. Hey! Where did you come from? I remember you before in the city. How did you... Never mind. You're here now, and I can use your help. The bandits are rushing toward the inner palace, the throne room. The Empress may be in big trouble. I'm going to stay here to protect the citizens. Please, go make sure the Empress is well protected. Sure can. I believe if you talk to uh, this lady here... Eek, those horrible bandits robbed me. Can you believe that? Why don't they know who I am? They grabbed my beautiful necklace. Yuck, imagine those unwashed fingers all over my precious... Ugh. Please help me get back my necklace and I'll pay you richly. You look like you could use some Neo points. Will you do it? Sure. Alright. Anyway. Time to go melee time. Oh yeah, let's do this. Right off the bat. And you will start seeing some archers. They actually use the same type of bow that you're using. So yeah, they could do a lot of damage on you. And they don't mess around. Look how much damage they already did to me. And if you get near them, they actually switch their weapon to melee, obviously. I think all the pots are broken. I don't think the pots respawn. And you start seeing more of these guys swarming ya. Making sure I clear out all of these guys. That should be all for this room. Nope, I lied. Don't give me their stupid bow, you jerk. And that's pretty much all of them. Alright, let's gonna switch to my bow real quick. Yeah, these guys here are jerks. And they attack a lot faster, too. I think it's time to probably equip my small mana potions. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, let's go ahead and choose an item. There we go. And I'll defeat this last guy here. And you'll see these guys with circlets on their head, the stat. Now, if you let them attack you, they're pretty nasty. But either way, I'm actually gonna end off the video here and continue in the palace next time. So, I will see you guys next time when we completely finish saving the palace. See you guys then.